A couple of things that I wanted to mention for today. Um, make sure that you're going back and checking to see that you have all of our assignments for art class completed. If you missed an assignment, it's okay. Just go back, make sure you turned it in. If you turn it in late, I will not take off points. But obviously, if you miss an assignment, then you're going to be missing that grade for that assignment. Okay, so just if you miss something, make sure you do it. Turn it in. Um, also, for some of you guys, you missed part of an assignment, and I left you a note on your assignment page, and I did not grade it, and I left you a note to tell you what you needed to fix in order to get full points. So if you have something that I didn't grade, and you see that I left you a note, just make sure you go back, fix it, leave me a comment telling me that you fixed it, make sure that you got all of your assignments finished, squared away, done correctly, so I can give you all of your points. Let me know if you need any help by emailing me um, or posting a private comment in the assignment page. Good luck. Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, April the 8th, and it is our third day of our Metropolitan Museum of Art Time Machine investigation. Today we're going to be in the early modern period of art history. Make sure that you are in the early modern period. Today we're not doing medieval art, we're not doing the ancient world. Yesterday a couple of us did um, more ancient world art instead of medieval art. So make sure you're in the right time period, like I'll show you in just a second, early modern period. And also a couple of us still forgot to answer the questions. After you write down the basic information about the artwork, please make sure that you write down one thing that you learn by reading about the artwork or watching the video or listening to the audio about the artwork. And also write your opinion or thoughts that you have personally, like what you like about it, what you don't like about it, or something that you wonder about the artwork. Okay, so don't forget to follow all of those steps as they're written in the directions as well as in this video. So let's just quickly go through the directions for today in our time machine. Let's go. <laughs> all right, back in our time machine. Um, we've already covered the ancient world on Monday, Tuesday we did medieval art, so today we're in the early modern period. Make sure that you choose the early modern period, which last time uh, the medieval art period ended in 1400 AD, so today we're going to start in this area 1400 AD to 1600 AD, we'll give you early modern period, 1600 to 1800 will be the early modern period as well. And then also 1800 to 1900 will also be the early modern period. This very last one, modern times, we're going to do that tomorrow on Thursday, okay? So for today, you have these three choices, 1400, 1600, or 1800, okay? Um, so I'm going to choose one in the middle. Um, I did Africa on Monday. I did Asia yesterday. And let's see, I'm going to go down just to Europe for today and then... I have a lot of topics that I can choose from for today. Um, I remember I did Creatures for one. I think I did Magic and Mystery for another one. Uh, for today, I'm going to go for Inventions. And then I'm going to press Push. I'm making sure I'm in the early modern period. Push this button. Um, it looks like I've got two choices for today. Uh, this piano actually looks pretty interesting to me. So I'm going to choose this one. Click on it. Bring, bring me to the information. We see where in the museum it's located. And we have our information that you can just copy and paste if you would like to on your document. Here's my document. I've been keeping all of my stuff on the same document. I have it saved on my computer. So every day after I add something to it, I'm able to submit it. If you did not save it on your computer and you just start a new Word document each day for this week, that's okay too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and type. Um, this time it has who made it, okay? So I have the artist's name. I will include the artist's name in my information list. Okay, so I've got the title, the artist's name, what it's made out of, when it was made, and where it was made. You don't need to type where in the museum you can find it and which gallery, that's not that important for us. Um, Here's a video. I'll have to disable my ad block uh, so I can play the video so that I have more information about it um, because 
I'm now going to come down, write something that I learned from the information that's provided here. Um, if you want more information, you could always click want to know more over there um, for some more information. Uh, with all of this stuff, there's some audio, there's that video, um, more information. Type something that you learn and one other thing that you think about it. I'll have to go through this information, uh, but yesterday um, I wrote for that jug that I found with the feline shaped handle, um, something that I learned about the empires during the time period where that piece was made. And I was also wondering what that jug was used to hold. So um, maybe I could wonder for this piano if anybody famous um, played on this piano or something like that. All right, so uh, tomorrow will be our last day with this. So please make sure that you are completing each of the assignments for this week and you can do it. All right, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.